Um, so my name is Bill Olet. It's a it's an absolute pleasure to be here. Um, uh, Paul, thank you very much for having me, and Antoinette, thank you for arranging this, um, and the rest of the team, the MIT Enterprise Forum. I, I just want to say why this is really important. Um, MIT has just kicked off a big campaign, and it's called uh, In the World, For the World. And what MIT is, is MIT isn't a business, it's an educational institution. And it's really important that the world has educational institutions, because they don't focus on the you know, the financial aspects of it. What we're trying to do is improve the world by educating people. And so something like this is really very, very fundamental to us. People say, well, how can MIT, you know, sustain itself as a business? We're not a business. We do things like open courseware, where we give away our knowledge. And people say, how can you do that? You know, because other people will then do it. Well, if we can't keep getting better every day and in increasing the body of knowledge that's out there, we're not doing our job. So this is really important to us, and so it's, it, we're extremely happy to be here to spread you know, what we know and then get back from you what you learned from it, and then we together, we can make um, the world a better place. And entrepreneurship is very important for that. So I'm gonna go through a very quick presentation this is dangerous here because it's there's no clock. Usually there's a clock in the back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm part Irish, and that's why I like Poland so much. Um, and when uh, and when you go to Ireland, they say when God created time, He created a lot of it. And uh, our family always believed in that. <laughs> so what I want to do is I have three points that I want to make. Uh, oops. Uh, I want to talk about. Um, in the next half hour, and then we can open to questions, which will be probably the most fun part. I want to make three points about uh, entrepreneurship and lessons I've learned about disciplined entrepreneurship, which I think are really important. The first thing, let me just tell you a story. This is a former student of mine named Nathan Ashcraft. Terrific guy. He was a PhD at MIT, and he was studying membrane technology. And uh, he got really excited about entrepreneurship and he worked over the summer to, you know, not, not hit what he thought was, was his company and he came back in September and said, Bill, I need to sit down with you right away. You, I want you to help me raise money for my, my new company. And so I said, what, what's your company? And he said, it's called Dipole and I'll send you over the, the business plan and then let's get together and talk about it. And you can introduce me to some investors. And so um, it, it was a document, and there was all this stuff in it, you know, about uh, Dipole. And this summarizes pretty much what the document was about. It's a, it's a, it's a new membrane science. Um, and they don't like to call it fuel cells, but that's what it was. It was using fuel cells, uh, uh, methanol and fuel cells. and you know, we could go through and explain this technology to you, but trust me, it's breakthrough technology. Um, and what the technology does is it basically creates a situation where you can get 53% more power than a previous fuel cell because it's using methanol with this new membrane technology. But the problem with methanol was that it produced a lot of kind of noxious fumes and it would decrease the methanol crossover by 100%, about 100%, 100x. And it was, a, you could assemble it, and there was intellectual property. And so he had this whole plan that explained this. And he said, this, you know, Bill, uh, can we help, can you help me raise money for this? And, and so, um, just gonna make sure I have the right slide next. Um, so, I could ask you now, how many of you, and if, if this was my classroom, I'd say, how many of you want to join Nathan's company? And some people would raise their hand and say, I want to join Nathan's company. And then some people wouldn't, and I'd say, well, what, who doesn't want to join Nathan's company? And, and, and the, we, we'd kind of go through this little exercise, and I'd say, well, you're, you're kind of right, you skeptics. And let me tell you what I told Nathan. I, told, I said to Nathan, I said, Nathan, you need to speak to a friend of mine's, you know, kid, because you could learn something to help you in this, 
And he said, what does that person, wh who is this and what does the kid do? And I said, the person is in the lemon business. He, he said, oh, does he do synthetic biology? Does he work with Greg Stephanopoulos over in the chemical engineering department? And I said, no, no. He, what he does is he takes lemons and he squeezes them and he puts water in them and he puts sugar in them. And is, this is, by the way, is a, an American helicopter parent here watching their kid. <laughs> sell, sell lemonade to these Americans. And there's a magical thing that goes on here because this child gives the product to the customer and the customer gives money to the person. <laughs> and Nathan's going, what are you doing? This is, uh, I said, Nathan, I'm trying to explain to you that in your description of what the business is, you completely missed the point here. The single necessary and sufficient condition for a business is one thing and only one thing. The single necessary, there is one and only one condition for a business. And that is not a business plan, it's not your manufacturing, it's not your IP. It is not even raising money, it's not your technology. The single necessary and sufficient condition for a business is a paying customer. And you have to have no analysis here of a paying customer. And that's the problem. This is what you've done here is, is, not, is not a business. You can't raise money for this in a, in a logical way. What you have is a science fair project. <laughs> you don't have a business. And what we're talking about, we're talking about, sorry to jump around like this. When, when we're talking about entrepreneurship, we're talking about creating economically sustainable organizations. This is what entrepreneurship is and what it's not. We have to create organizations that somebody wants the product and they're willing to pay for it, and what they pay is more than what it costs you to make it. Otherwise, this is a, develop, a research project. That's what entrepreneurship is. Very, very simple. This is what entrepreneurship is, this is what it's not.